Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to our NFL update for Sunday. We've got a free pick, a free side coming up in just a moment. Hey, first quick note, big weekend for me. If you're watching these before Saturday's games kick off in college football, we've got eight plays in football this weekend. We've got three from college, including a seven-star play. I've got five NFL plays for Sunday, including a six-star play. Cashed another six-star last week with the Arizona Cardinals. We won in week two, showing a money-time profit in the NFL, and we're up right now in college football heading into the weekend so eight big plays and by the way if you're watching this on the day on, or during the day on Saturday uh, the seven star play for me in college football is an early evening game so you can always check that out if you wish and of course all five plays on Sunday remain if you are watching this on Saturday a quick note for Sunday we've got NASCAR going on Sunday uh, the boys are out here in Las Vegas this week uh, we do have a seven star play in NASCAR you know how well we've done in NASCAR 47 and 21 69 percent since I brought my uh, NASCAR matchups to DocSports.com about a year and a half ago, and our elite level plays are 28 and 11. So a real nice run. We look to continue. We got a seven-star play for the race here in Vegas on Sunday. That'll be available Sunday morning. DocSports.com. Of course, we got Major League Baseball, soccer, all of the good stuff. WNBA 22 and 10 with the last 32, and 62% uh, with our last 115 plus in the WNBA. Going back to last year, we got WNBA play playoffs going this weekend and NBA playoffs and I lost my first half play with Boston on Friday night they kicked it into gear in the second half uh, but anyway that's what's going on for me the big obvious plays for me this weekend college and pro football eight big plays seven star Saturday six star NFL Sunday and we'll look to cash again this weekend all right let's get to the NFL play for today uh, we are backing the Eagles minus the points to get in the win column, cover the spread against Cincinnati. And as I look at where the tickets and the money are right now, you've got uh, the majority of the tickets, about 52% on Cincinnati plus the points. Sharp money though, the money coming in big on the Eagles minus the points in this particular game. And we, we're, we're gonna side with that sharp side here. Now that doesn't mean it's an automatic win. You saw in week one, head-to-head -head matchups where there were differentials between the public and the sharps. So the public won out in week one last week, a little bit sharper. And we had a nice big play with the sharp side on the Oakland, on the, uh, Las Vegas Raiders on Monday night uh, to give us that winning weekend money-wise in the NFL. I'll get aside here with the Sharps, and that is the Eagles. And listen, it's a situation where, yeah, you look at Carson Wentz and his numbers, terrible through the first two weeks, um, just about as bad as it gets. He's been under pressure, and as far as the flip side of things, Joe Burrow has been getting knocked all over the place. He's being heaped a lot of praise on him right now. Maybe rightly so. I think Joe Burrow certainly hasn't got a problem with the speed of NFL defenses and the biggest transition from college football to the NFL is the speed factor until guys get used to it. Doesn't have a problem with that, but he's got a serious problem with that offensive line in Cincinnati. And he's been taking just a nasty amount of hits, something like three dozen hits so far this season when he drops back to pass or just rolls out and tries to run. He's just getting creamed all over the place. And the one thing about Philly that they can still do, they've still got an outstanding defensive front. So you've got a great defensive front against a really bad offensive line, the defensive front belonging to the Eagles. And I think they're gonna make Joe Burrow and the Bengals offense pay for that. And then on the flip side, I think this is the kind of defense, talking about Cincy, where Carson Wentz can dump the ball off quite a bit, whether it be running backs, tight ends, what have you. I do think that since he's defense is the perfect fit for what Wentz is going to want to do behind the offensive line that he has. So you add it up, and I think the Eagles come away with about a 10-point win. So the Philadelphia Eagles are the free pick, minus the points over Cincinnati. Again, we've got all those plays going on in college and pro football, eight to be exact, three on Saturday, five on Sunday, seven-star Saturday evening, six-star on Sunday over at DocSports.com, all available right now as we speak. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button and be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here, uh, likely Sunday night with a Monday night play here's what I'm gonna do I am going to give away my Monday night football play that clash between the Chiefs and the Ravens on video for free right here so be sure to check back for that late Sunday night early Monday morning we'll be talking some Monday night football let's put them in the win column over the weekend I'm Scott Spritzer DocSports.com